Hello and welcome to LearnDigitalDesign.com. This will be a continuation of a series we're doing on learning to create an avatar image. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials, you need to uh, back up and go view those first. Uh, you can find them on our website at www.LearnDigitalDesign.com. Keep zooming out and zooming back in. Just tweaking here. getting everything just right and there is some more that I could do on the eyes too uh, I see now I've already finished the image now and it's one of those things that you're gonna fight with where you finish something and then you see it later and you go back and want to work on it some more I've actually heard of people who paint in oils or I, mean, I don't know about watercolors but I'm sure there have been people like this but <laughs> there, there, I heard a story actually about a lady who uh, broke into someone's house to, to steal her painting back to work on it and then put it back in the lady's house without her knowledge because she couldn't stand it. I guess maybe the person she sold the painting to she knew but right now I'm adding uh, some little darker areas under the eyes but uh, it's okay if you want to go back on an image uh, and work on it some more after you've completed it if you if you see something that needs to be done and a lot of times I won't call an image finished until I've slept on it because uh, when you wake up the next morning and you look at something you're gonna see something that you didn't see before you got fresh eyes in the morning and a lot of times that you get weary during the uh, day prior so don't call something finished until you slept on it that's a general rule of thumb I'm sure a lot of artists abide by. Just make sure you're not breaking into somebody's house to steal back your artwork to work on. I don't know if that story is true or not, but it, it sure is funny. And uh, for all, any of you artists out there uh, who are watching this video, you will probably find it funny too because you know exactly what I'm talking about. It has been fun going through and doing this step by step in front of you with no fast forwarding and no cutting. So if you like this, I really would appreciate it if you'd come over to the forums. There, here I go talking about the forums again. You know we're in a slow spot when I do that, I guess. Really would appreciate it though if you come over to the forums and tell me, give me some positive feedback about this, and tell me that this is something you'd like to see more of and. I might uh, think about doing some more series like this where we can uh, go through piece by piece with something and uh, we don't just have to do Inkscape we can go to GIMP or some of the other open source design mediums And we're, we're just about through here. I see the eyes now. I do want to go back and change some things on the eyes. and I probably will, but it won't be part of the tutorial. So uh, we're coming close to the end of this video that it's at least as far as videos are split up on my computer it may be split up differently when I post it on the internet but uh, we gotta get rid of this blue uh, line around the bottom of her chin we gotta clean it up a bit and we've only got a little bit left here we're almost done cleaning up we gotta get this blue line erased from underneath her chin it doesn't belong there. Well, we can clean up over here and we can finally delete this green line around her head. If you've become attached to it, you can leave it there if you'd like, but we can delete it. Make sure you save, save, save right here because once you delete that green line, it's gone. 
So save your work before you do that. Because if you want to come back and work on this some later, you're going to need that. All's not lost if you do that. You really can come back and create another one. You can find a way to make it work. We're going to group this now. Do a control G. And uh, for those of you with kind of slower processors, um, I'm sorry, I didn't use any layers here. And uh, if you have a slower processor, you need to break things down into layers. You might want the lips to be one layer, the nose to be a layer, the eyes to be a layer, the uh, face to be a layer, the neck to be a layer, the hair to be a layer. So layer things appropriately. Uh, I'm so sorry that I wasn't a good example for you on that. Uh, I apologize because really to, to do this correctly, you, sh you need to be using layers. Uh, it's much easier on your processor especially if you've got an older slower computer and I, I'm sorry if you've been following along with this and you're just now hearing me say that at the beginning I mean at the very end uh, forgive me if your computer's sitting here crashing on you um, I haven't actually done the intro video yet so when I go back to it I'll, I'll mention that I'm just deleting that line by selecting all and then turning off the lines, turning off the outlines because we shouldn't have any outlines anywhere anyway. And that just ensures that they're all gone. No outlines, nothing but objects, no lines here. There are no lines in your life. You may think there are, but they're not. They're not there. They're an illusion. Lines are, if, if you see something that looks like a line, look again. It's, it's an object. It's a shape. Everything's made out of shapes, not lines. I think we need a little shadow under here, underneath the hair, just a little final touch. So the hair doesn't look like it's just floating in space there. So I'll just make it a gray object and then add an opacity to it so it looks like a shadow. I could have done that a little bit better, but we're here towards the end and I guess I'm getting a little lazy. But uh, we're winding up now, and I really want to thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you've watched it all the way through, you're a trooper. Um, appreciate the support I'm getting. I hear a lot of positive feedback in the forums about my other videos. Stop by. Let me know if this is something you want to see more of. If it is, I'll be glad to do it because it has been fun. And I'll see you in the next tutorial we do.